We've looked at using interactive whiteboard flip chart software and we've shown you how you can use any application that runs on your computer with the Mimeo or interactive whiteboard. In this final tutorial, we're going to explore some software that has been designed especially for interactive whiteboards and projectors. I'm going to show you face-to-face -face classware. This is essentially the face-to-face -face student's book provided in electronic format and it's been designed to be used with interactive whiteboards, computers and projectors, or the Mimeo. Right, let's launch the software. OK, the first page that we see is the profile page. And I have my own profile. Every teacher can have his or her own profile so they have a personalized experience when they open the software. Here we've got two books. This is the library. You can have as many books as you want and you can also have supplementary materials and all the books can link together. We're going to launch face-to-face pre-intermediate. And here we have the book. I can very easily turn the pages of the book by hitting the next button or I can use the menu here. As you can see from the menu, you can select all the student's book audio and all the video associated with the student's book. They're all on a single platform. We're going to go to the page we want now. On every page, all the exercises and pictures have hotspots. To see the hotspots, we click on the Zoom tool. Can you see the hotspots marked here? Now, I just click on one of them and it zooms in automatically. Now it's here, we can start to use the tools at the side. We'll start by using the highlighter tool. This exercise looks at auxiliary verbs, so we can start to mark some of them with the highlighter. We can also use the pen tool to hide words so that we can elicit them from the students. We can reveal these words using the eraser. And it's very easy to move across and do the next exercise. And we can use the pen tool again to write into the gaps. OK, so let's select the pen tool. I can choose a colour and a pen thickness. So, question word, auxiliary, and so on. OK, at the end of my session, I can open up file and I can save. I can also attach a blank page to this if I wanted to take extra notes that support the lesson. You can also attach any file from your computer. So you could have a video file attached to this page or an additional audio file or a Word document. You can personalize the page completely. And again, when you save the session, it'll be there exactly as you left it. So you can prepare this at home and open it up in the classroom ready to go. Well, we've just seen how a traditional student's book looks on an interactive whiteboard. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorials. We've had a good look at some of the interactive whiteboard technologies out there and some classroom software. Thank you for watching.